Hi, I'm Jose Anunciato, and you're watching the Web Dev Channel. Right, so let's uh, let's uh, now uh, add Font Font Awesome, uh, which is um, uh, it's a library. It's an open source uh, a library of icons, right? That you can you can uh, uh, use in your in your uh, websites, right? So that uh, to you know for actions uh, to be able to uh, like a trash can or a pencil or things like that, uh, and it includes tons and tons of really really cool. Uh, icons. I invite. I invite you to uh, peruse through their their library. Uh, font awesome. Uh, and uh, see what uh, if you know uh, if there are any any icons that uh, you might you might be interested in. So we're going to be using two of them uh, for this example. One is the pencil to edit, and one is going to be the trash can to remove. Right. Uh, so let's do that. Let's um, let's uh, install font awesome just like we did uh, for we did for strap. Right, so from the command line, right, we're going to install font awesome as a dependency. Notice dash dash save, and that's going to declare in package JSON as a dependency. If you don't do that, it might work locally, but it's not going to work for you when you deploy to Heroku. All right? Uh, so, so if you start asking on Gata, why isn't this working on Heroku? That's the first thing you should look at. It says, oh, maybe look, maybe look, maybe, let's look at my package JSON. Maybe I'm missing something there. Um, all right. So now, in your in your um, uh, in your top level uh, component, the course manager, right? We can declare um, in your index file. Uh, you can declare font awesome as a dependency. There we go. All right. So now we have font awesome declared as a dependency, uh, and uh, we can start using the icons. So, for instance, in the um, in the module. Right next to the uh, right next to the title of the of the module, let's add the trash can the pencil. Uh, so let's uh, go to the um, uh, course manager. Let's go to the module list. Let's go to a module list item. And at the end, here we're going to declare uh, these these class names. the class names. Uh, notice they all start with FA, right? Uh, they're using proper naming conventions, right? uh, uh, so so that they namespace their classes. So that if someone else has, maybe someone else is using a trash class class name, right? So 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 that, so that they don't they collide against each other. They prepend FA, right? Uh, they even they even uh, add a a single FA, right? So that it has to be the combination. So this is the real class name is FA dot FA dash pencil, right? So it has its own naming convention. So so dot FA dot FA pencil. Uh, notice that these over here are class names that are declared by Bootstrap. Notice that they, they are not properly uh, naming their, their classes, right? Uh, you know, maybe because their naming convention would have started with like BS. Uh, so maybe they, maybe they should find another naming convention. I don't know. Um, uh, that, 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 would, that would allow them not to collide with other, other uh, class names. Uh, anyway, so if we refresh uh, our content, notice that indeed now we have the trash can and the pencil uh, uh, there available. Uh, what we might want to do is maybe push that over to the right-hand side, and for that we can use a Bootstrap class. Uh, we can uh, grab this together and span a span, uh, and collectively push this off to the right-hand side. So we can use one of one of many of Bootstrap's uh, utility classes. One of them is to uh, float to the right-hand side. So it's float, and you can float left, float right. Uh, so we're going to do float um, uh, right. Right, there we go. Uh, if we refresh, uh, notice that it pushes off those, those two icons to the right-hand side. OK? Uh, awesome. Uh, and so it renders as such. Uh, yeah, we moved it over to the right-hand side. Very good. All right, so let's look at tabs. Yes? Uh, uh, padding, what do you mean? Oh, right. So now that that you would do in um, here, you can do just do it here, right? Or you can uh, in your index in in the actual public index. In this index.html, you can load you you can link other libraries. See that? Here's where you would, for instance, for you can deploy them uh, in production, right? Into CDN, right? or add point to your own style file, right? And declare that there as well. Uh, no, do not add script tags in, the, in that HTML. 
Yeah, no. Uh, you could do it here, though. Here would be a proper way of putting some library or some other dependencies. OK? Um, all right, excellent. Let's uh, take a look at um, tabs. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like the video, and share it. Thanks.